Welcome back friends. Today video we are going to talk about uh, Java string pool. We need to understand what is a Java string pool. This is a very important topic. This question will be asking in most of the interviews. Okay. Uh, first you need to understand what is heap memory. Whenever you run the Java program, there are some Java objects get initialized, right? Those objects live in heap memory. Okay, all uh, all our Java object live in heap memory. Um, in this heap memory, there is one section called string pool. In this string pool, there are some string maintained. There are some string maintained. Okay, what is the purpose of the string pool? Let me open my IDE. There are two ways to uh, declare our string variable. Okay, string str one two equal to new string of Suresh. So here I defined two string variable. One is str one, another one is str two. The str one uh, string I defined using string literal. String literal. Okay, this is the str2 i defined using new keyword new keyword okay so we can define a string in two ways one is a string literal another one is using new keyword whenever you define string using string literal what will happen that particular string allocated in string pool area when you define any uh, string using string literal that particular string defined in sorry allocated in string pool area okay whenever you define any string using new operator that particular string value allocated directly in heap memory this one okay <clears throat> now what is difference between uh, allocating uh, string value in uh, string pool and a direct heap memory now let's say I'll go to different another string. A string str str uh, three equal to str three equal to finish. When you say like this, what will happen? Whenever you run this Java program, your Java program check that this fresh value, this fresh value already exists in string pool area. Yes, this fresh value already exists in string pool area. That respective object is str1 right what will happen your java runtime environment and this reference it has one reference right string reference it has some reference value right huh? that reference value assigned you to the same str3 because both value is having same sorry both the object having a same value that's the reason your, your java runtime environment assign str1 reference to str3 str1 reference to str3 okay let me change here i will uh, one minute uh, according to this program i will going to draw the diagram okay i don't then you will get confused i'm going to remove everything Okay. So, according to our pro according to our program, we have defined the three string values: str one, str three. Okay. Now, str um, one one equal to Suresh, right? And str three also Suresh. So, these two variable values stored in the string pool area, okay, in the string pool area. Suresh. So, this Suresh value is stored in the string pool area. This Suresh will having one reference, right, that reference will be pointing for both the variable, okay. So, str1, str3 is having a same reference. 
socket. That meaning there is no separate memory for FTR1, there is no separate memory for FTR3. Since both are pointing to same reference, there is a only one memory allocated. Okay. Then according to this program, there is another STR2, right? This STR2 will be stored directly in yeah. this string STR2 equal to new string ST. So this particular um, string value directly stored in your heap memory. So here we have defined three variable in which str1, str3 defined using literal mechanism. Using literal we have defined str1, str3. For that reason, uh, the particular object value stored in a string pool. Since both the variable value, str1, str3, both variable value same. So, that for, for both variable, there is only one reference. Now, I will be going to define another variable, str string str4, 4 equal to Ramesh. Whenever I run this program, your Java runtime environment check that is FTR4 having a Ramesh, right? If Ramesh value already exists here or not. It will go to check the Ramesh value already available in string pool or not. It will go to check. Okay, if the Ramesh is not there, it will create a new memory for the FTR4. It will create a new memory for a FTR4. And then keep it in our string pool. So, we, here we have a three variable defined in using string literal in which two variable having a same value. So, it is creating a only one reference for both variable pointing a same reference because the both the variable having a same value. The FTR4 is a different value. For that, your Java runtime environment create a separate reference and then uh, keeping it to the string pool. Okay. If, if any string variable uh, defined using string literal, that particular value stored in our string pool. If multiple string object having a same value, that string object will have a only one reference. There is no separate memory for each object. If multiple value having a different different value for each string object, there is a different different uh, reference. That is, each object will going to create a some separate memory location. Now I'll go to define another value here. FTR five. Equal to new string. Maria. I am defining here Maria. FTR5 equal to new string of Maria, I am saying. So, so. No, no, no. I will go to say Suresh again. FTR5 equal to new string, I am saying now. What will happen? Now, here, it will create a separate memory for FTR5. Even it's a same value. Okay. Here FTR2, FTR5 having a same fresh value, right? Same fresh value. This FTR2, FTR5, we have created using new operator, right? New operator so that it will create a separate, separate memory location, separate, separate reference. Even it has a same value. Whenever you use a new operator to define a string variable, string object, it will create a separate memory location, separate reference, even the multiple values having a same value, which don't care about that. Okay. So, in the case of string literal, whenever you define a string literal, if the string literal variable having same value, those string literal variable 
must have a same reference must have same reference now we need to understand what is the purpose of string pool concept in java okay let's assume a scenario i am calling on api or i am connecting database in which i am retrieving hundreds of customers hundreds of customer names okay there is a possibility having a duplicate names right uh, for example let's say uh, there are uh, 25 uh, customer having a same name the 25 customer is having a same name let's say Suresh for those 25 customer there is no need to create a separate separate instance or separate separate memory allocation for a same value since we have a string pool concept for those 25 object there will be a only one reference there will be a only one reference that meaning there will be a only one memory allocation for 25 duplicate values through which we are saving good amount of memory as well as we are increasing the application performance this is the uh, use of string pool concept in java if you are creating a multiple object a string object using string literal that string value stored in string pool if that value having a different different value for each different value there will be a separate separate reference if those multiple object value having a same value there is no separate separate instance inside a string pool okay there will be a only one reference there will be a only one reference for multiple object value okay this is the string pool concept according to our diagram str1 str3 we defined using string literal since str1 str3 is having a same value our java memory creating a only one reference for str1 str3 str4 also created using string literal but it has a different value so it will be a separate reference for str4 okay in the case of str2 str5 both variable created using new operator and both variable having a same value but it never pointing same reference because we are using new operator it will create a separate reference for each string variable even it has a same value i hope you understand the, the concept of a string pool and the, what is the purpose of string pool now demo session okay if you understand string pool concept properly you must understand that str1 same reference str1 and str3 must have same reference str4 must have different reference since it has it has a different value and str2 must have str2 and str5 must have a different reference even it has a same value because because the the object the string object created using new keyword okay i will going to show the demo now this str2 str5 both should have a different different reference okay because these variables created using a new operator 
okay now i'll going to say str1 equal to equal to str3 then str1 and str2 is having same reference whenever you use equal to operator this equal to operator check reference of particular variables check the what is the reference of particular variable okay so str1 str3 both references same this condition will get invoked this condition will get invoked else this condition will will get invoked str1 str2 are not having same reference let me run this program so str1 str2 are having a same reference because str1 str3 is having a same value this two this value uh, placed in a string pool placed in a string pool this str1 str3 object pointing to same reference because we are created this variable using string literals then i want to check these values str2 and str5 if str1 str2 equal to equal to str5 i want to say str2 and str5 is having the same reference let me comment this else the ftr to ftr5 are not having same reference since we are using new operator to create ftr to ftr5 object both must have different different reference according to our understanding they should execute else part it never execute if part because ftr to ftr5 must have a different reference let me run this program see ftr to ftr5 are not having a same reference even it has a same value it is does not belong to same reference both both are having a different different reference okay i hope you understand this demonstration if you have any question please write a comment definitely i will reply you if you like this video please share it to your friend circle i am planning to upload a lot of interview questions which could be a core java hibernate jpa microservices and spring boot please subscribe this channel and click bell icon for regular updates until then bye bye from suresh